introduction. There is a popular legend that leads us to the discovery of Magnus, which involves an elderly Greek shepherd named Magnus. What is his name? It says that Magnus. What is his name? Magnus. Magnus. What is his name? Magnus. Magnus. He's a shepherd, and his name is Magnus. He used to carry one stick. That stick consists. At the one end of the stick consists there is an iron. Cap. There is an iron. Cap. Cap. Now see what happened. Magnus was herding his sheep in an area of northern Greece called Magnesia about four thousand years ago. Where he lived? Magnesia. His name is Magnus. He lives in Magnesia, and his name is. Uh, he he is doing. He is a shepherd. Shepherd. Three things you come to know. Suddenly, the metal tip of his stick became firmly stuck to a large black rock on which he was sitting. To find the source of attraction, he dug up the earth to find magnetite, a natural magnetic material. Now, what happened when he go? When he when he used to go to the uh, like park, whatever the uh, places he used to go, then one day his stick stuck to the rock. Or uh, his like uh, his uh, stick is stuck to the rocks. Then he surprised. What happened? Suddenly, what happened? Then he starts digging the ground, digging the ground. Then what he what what he find? This black magnet. And the name of this natural magnet. This is the natural magnet. This is the natural, natural magnet. magnet. And the name of this magnet is magnet. On the name of that boy. This type of rock was subsequently named magnetite, magnetite, which was named after Magnus himself. Origin of magnets. Magnetite is a natural magnet and contains iron. In the later days, this was more widely known as a magnet. A magnet is a substance that has the power of attracting iron. Magnet. What is magnet? Magnet is a substance that is having the power to attract any. Iron magnet is a substance that is having the power to attract any iron. 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 Who is going to describe it again? Only raise your hand. What? 
what is magnet just raise your hand you want to describe it again what is magnet magnet is a sir yes come magnet is a substance uh, that power was uh, attract the iron iron very good clap for him so magnet is a substance that attracts iron <laughs> Magnets can also be made artificial. However, the process of making artificial magnets is a recent discovery. Artificial magnets come in different shapes. For example, first we read about the natural magnet. The name of the natural magnet is magnetite. Now this is the artificial magnet that is made by the human beings. That is made by the human beings and. They, they are having different shapes of magnets. As you know, you are having spherical shape, you are having yes. a square shape, you are having circle shape, whatever you shape. Root shape also is there. Bar magnet. It's a bar magnet. magnet, etc. Two are the same. One is a bar magnet, second one is a horseshoe magnet. It's a shape of horseshoe. That's why you call it, it is a horseshoe magnet. Terms of materials. Now let us look at the types of materials. Materials that are attracted. We are having two types of materials: magnetic materials and non-magnetic materials. Magnetic and non-magnetic. Magnetic materials attracts iron. Iron. And non uh, non-magnetic materials does not attract iron. 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 Okay. Let's see. Tip by magnets are called magnetic materials. For example, screws. Nuts, bolts are magnetic materials. Materials that are not attracted by magnets are called non-magnetic materials. For example, wool, cloth, bricks are non-magnetic materials. Poles of a magnet. When you move a magnet over magnetic substances, you will see that these substances get attracted to particular parts. Okay, what are the of the magnet as we discussed we are going to read the read about the poles of the magnet in this chapter now what are the poles have you ever seen the magnet having north and south pole what poles having what poles having north, north and south, south pole okay sometimes you see that when you are going to attract some iron iron pieces whatever the pieces like the pins iron pins hain jab aap usko attract karne jaate ho to ek particular jagah pe hi sari stick ho jati hai क्यों नहीं वो ऊपर जाके स्टिक हुई पर्टिकुलर एक जगह पे ही जाके क्यों स्टिक हुई बिकॉज दे आर द पोल्स दे आर द एंड ऑफ द मैग्नेट जो एंड ऑफ द मैग्नेट पार्ट्स के मैग्नेट के जो एंड्स होते हैं उनको क्या बोलते हैं नॉर्थ एंड साउथ पोल बोलते हैं लेट्स सी द मैग्नेट ऑफ दिस आर जनरली द टू एंड्स ऑफ द मैग्नेट दिस एंड्स आर कॉल्ड पोल्स ऑफ द मैग्नेट फाइंडिंग द राइट डायरेक्शंस व्हाट्स यू नो अबाउट द पोल्स ऑफ द मैग्नेट You should also be able to mark the location of the poles. Let us. अगर आप have you ever seen that uh, magnetic needle? Mm -hmm. Direct for finding the direction. हाँ. Yes. Yeah. Direction find out करने के लिए आपने वो तो वो magnetic needles use करते हो compass type का होता है. What is that? It's a magnetic needle. वो क्या करती है north and south direction को point out करती है. करती है नहीं करती north and south direction. What is north direction? What is south direction? North is the North pole of our earth. Oh. South is the south, south pole of our earth. जब magnetic magnetic needle show करती है direction तो वो north और south pole में जाके stuck हो जाती है. होती है नहीं होती है. समझ रहे हो? अब suppose करो मेरे पास simple magnet है मुझे नहीं पता इसका north and south pole कौन सा है. तो we can uh, find out with the help of magnetic needle also. Secondly, we can find out with the help of another magnet. दूसरी मैग्नेट की हेल्प से भी हम फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं कौन सा नॉर्थ पोल है कौन सा साउथ पोल है कैसे बिकॉज द सेम पोल रिपेल इच अदर एंड अपोजिट पोल अट्रैक्ट इच अदर सेम पोल का मतलब क्या है कि अगर दोनों मैग्नेट का नॉर्थ और नॉर्थ पोल एक साथ लेके आते हो तो वो क्या हो जाएंगे एक दूसरे से अलग हो जाएंगे लेकिन अगर साउथ और नॉर्थ पोल एक साथ लेके आते हो तो वो क्या हो जाएंगे दैट मीन्स अपोजिट पोल अट्रैक्ट इच अदर एंड सेम पोल रिपेल इच अदर रिपेल वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रिपेल अलग कर ठीक है Now we look at why poles are important to be marked in a magnet. We all know that to find directions we use a compass. 
This compass has a needle that keeps moving in all directions, but when steadied, always points to the sun. This helps us in finding directions accurately. This is why we need to mark the poles of a magnet. Making your own magnet. Let us look at the steps to create your very own magnet. Let's take a paper clip. Use a thick and strong magnet. Move the tip of the magnet repeatedly in the same direction. Perform this step 50 to 100 times. The movement needs to be quick. Now to check whether the magnet is ready, bring the nail close to the tip. If the tip does not attract the nail, then continue the same process for some more time. Keep in mind. How we can make our own magnet? If you are having magnet, okay, then you can make your own magnet how? By doing this process. Okay, take one needle, iron needle, whatever the iron uh, material you are having, iron the holy substance you have, and you can use it and magnet it. Direction is not to not to south. Me, who look at that? Bar bar repeatedly circular form. That is repeatedly. What speed? Say, us magnet ke upar round and round. Karna, thoda strongly. Or uske baad us particular needle ko leke dusre iron pieces ke paas jana. To wo attract kare. Matlab humne kya kya ek magnet banayi with the help of the previous magnet. Purani magnet se humne ek aur nayi magnet kaise banayi by doing this activity. By taking a uh, needle, whatever the thing you are having, pin or needle, and make it round again and again. Then take it, take that needle to another uh, needles. Then it will attract all all other needles. That is called how to make the attraction magnet. Think that the pole of the magnet and the direction of its movement should not change. Attraction and repulsion. Now that you know about. Repulsion. Same pole, repel each other and different pole, uh, attract each other. Poles of a magnet. Let us look at the attraction and repulsion properties too. In the case of magnets, when the south pole comes in contact with the north pole, these get attracted to each other. This is better known as opposite poles attracting each other. Similarly, when the south pole comes in contact with another south pole of a magnet, they do not attract each other. In fact, they repel each other. This is better known as similar poles repelling each other. Taking care of magnets. We are now aware of the attraction and repulsion properties of a magnet. To keep magnets safe and in working conditions, follow these guidelines. Do not heat. Hammer. Or drop magnets from a height. If you used to do, do these things, like if you are going to heat the magnet, if you are going to drop the magnet from a height, or मतलब काफी ऊपर height से आप उसको गिराते हैं, या फिर you are going to hammer that magnet, then it will lose its property. Magnet will lose its property. property. Magnet अपनी magnetic property को lose कर देगा. Okay? They will lose their property if done so. Keep bar magnets in pairs with their opposite poles on the same side. Use wood to separate them. Keep a piece of iron across the poles of a horseshoe magnet. Magnets should be away from computers, mobiles, television sets. Hamisha ye sab chizu se magnets ko dur rakna hota hai. Kyun? Kyunki your computers, your desk, your TV, television, all having the magnets inside it. इनके अंदर भी मैग्नेट का काम हुआ ही होता है आपके टीवी या फिर इवन आपकी वॉच में भी कहीं ना कहीं छोटी मोटी मैग्नेट लगी होती है आपने देखा ही होगा दैट मीन्स ऑल आर हैविंग ऑल इलेक्ट्रिकल मैक्सिमम इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्विपमेंट हैविंग मैग्नेट सो कीप द मैग्नेट इफ यू आर हैविंग दैट मैग्नेट इज द मैग्नेट अवे फ्रॉम योर इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्विपमेंट ओके म्यूजिक सिस्टम्स एंड कॉम्पैक्ट डिस्क्स सम let us summarize what we have learned. A magnet attracts magnetic materials. The ends of a magnet is known as poles of magnets. A free magnet always points in north-south direction. Similar poles of the magnet repel each other, while different poles of the magnet attract each other. Chapter is completed today. Okay.